Amazon may be looking at health care. Drug stocks all fell yesterday on a report in the St. Louis Dispatch that it had gotten approval to be a wholesale distributor of pharmaceuticals in 12 states. Such a move would shake up the entire industry. Well, iPhone 10 orders did begin. They are live right now. Demand is expected to be high, and it'll be difficult, it appears, to get the phone on the November 3rd release date or soon thereafter. There have been reports of production delays. Well, Twitter is banning ads from Russian-sponsored news sites. Russia Today, or RT, and Sputnik won't be able to advertise on the social media platform anymore. They will still be able to tweet, though. Now, Twitter said RT had spent $1.9 million on ads since 2011, including $274,000 during the 2016 U.S. presidential election. The decision comes amid growing concern about Russian influence in the election. And Alphabet, the parent of Google, set to become the second company in history to reach a value of $700 billion. The stock is up after it reported strong ad sales. Only Apple has reached that lofty valuation so far. And more robots may be coming to a Walmart. For the past three years, the company has been testing shelf-scanning robots in some stores in Arkansas, Pennsylvania, and California. The machines, which move up and down aisles, look for out-of-stock items and products that are mislabeled or incorrectly priced. They then flag those issues to workers. Walmart says the robots help the workers, not replace them. From the NASDAQ market site in Times Square, I'm Jane King with your Tech Report.